Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Pandas Lead Code Type Easy Question 1350 Students with Invalid Departments. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page communities for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay. So they have given two tables: a department table consisting of different different departments with the column name and a unique ID for that. And they are given one more student table where each student has been having ID. Here ID means regarding the department, here ID means regarding the students. So here also they are given name which is student name and whatever the department he is working in, it is also given. So this department is connected to department tables ID. Okay, let us come and see the question. Find the ID and name of all students who are enrolled in departments that no longer exist. Okay. Let us come here. Now let me copy these students first. So let us see how they are connected department ID and department okay let us see the connection we can see 1 and 1 7 7 13 13 here 14 nothing is there 77 nothing is there 74 nothing is there 1 here it is there 7 here it is there 33 again not there 1 it is there Okay, am I right or did I miss anything? Yes, that's it. Now, these green things are the people who have department. This purple color or pink color are the people who don't have department. Okay, so who are the people who don't have any department? 7 Diana 33, 3 Steve's 74. 4 Jasmine 77 2 John 14 okay if you just take the name and ID only you can see 2 and John 4 Jasmine 7 Diana we have sorted the table but that other is a 3 is Steve so what I need to do here if I do inner join I will get only the matching rows so my step 1 is to create a left join Okay, I will create a left join and whenever a matching row is there it means he belongs to the table department if it is not there it means it is doesn't belong to any department so what I need to do I need to filter for this ID column is null because if it is left one if it is not matching it will create an ID null that's it first is this one second is this one third step is select only the ID name fourth step is sorting the table okay let us do it step by step so let me call df is equal to students dot merge 
departments how we equal to inner left on equal to department id comma right on equal to id return df So we have the connection okay now sorry it should not be that it should be left right so we have the table right now okay but what i want i want only the things which are null this null rows so i can keep either id y or name by why this y means as there are same name columns in both the tables suffix x will be added to the left table suffix y will be added to the right table so let me filter where any of the column f i d of i dot is null okay we got it now i want only the i d x comma i d y That's it. Okay, we got it here. Now let us rename the table. Let me call it as ID and let me call it as name. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. I think it should be name X. Okay. Mm, okay. Here it should be name X. Okay. We got the table. Let me submit. So as they have didn't ask for any order, I'm not sorting it. Otherwise, we can do anything. Okay. I hope it is clear for everyone and we have successfully solved the question. Okay. If you want the code query for this, it will be available in this GitHub repository where serial number, lead code, question wise serial number, the cat key revise, and the lead code link will be embedded here. YouTube links and GitHub links will be provided here. The link for this will be provided in the description below. Please check it out. Okay. And if you're further interested in learning data analytics, ML, DL, NLP, CV or Generative AI, please fill in this Google form below. I will be reaching out to you soon. And if you are preparing for data science interviews, do check out my playlist. It will be greatly helping your interview process. And if you have any questions regarding the problem which you have solved, please do ask it in the comment section using this hashtag. Until then, keep learning guys.